Welcome to Secret Nuclear Government Bunkers. Me and my brother have written the book Secret Nuclear Government Bunkers, Reagan West and How NATO Prepared for World War III. It could not be hidden from our neighbors that something huge was being built. The enormous building site revealed to a few who spent time in the area that it was anything but an ordinary building. Large quantities of soil and limestone were hauled off and large quantities of building materials arrived. The work went on for several years, yet no building emerged. As time went by, the neighbors guessed that the construction was going on under the hill, but none of them ever shared any information with others. It had became clear to them that something extraordinary happened and that they knew something which must be kept as a secret. Tucked behind an anonymously appearing house with garden, garrets and flagpole is the entrance to one of the largest and most expensive buildings in Denmark. Behind a well hidden and guarded door, a half kilometer long tunnel leads to an underground backup of the capital, covering 5,500 square meters and built to withstand nuclear weapons and to remain completely independent of the outside world. This bunker is constructed in a way that knows no equal in Denmark and which will probably never be surpassed. With its own water and power supply, hospital, radio studio, conference facilities, the conscious democracy in its most compressed form, and the most important institutions could be maintained from this underground city. In case of that Copenhagen's ministers became too unsafe or even were destroyed during a war. Several decades after its construction, the facility appears almost as when it was built. At a moment's notice, the facility was ready to accommodate the country's key figures, the Danish government and royal house, as well as the top officials appointed to assist the government in leading the country before, during or after war that has left the country devastated. The Danish Prime Minister's Office, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Justice, Ministry of the Interior and many others practiced in secret how to lead the country from this facility if necessary. The story of this book about NATO countries' government bunkers is also a journey back in time to a Cold War when the threat of another world war was constantly present. Based on Reagan West, the story is told about the locations and how the governments of NATO would have led their member states through World War III if it had broken out. Enjoy your reading. Prime Minister, it's time to relocate to the bunker.